So we're going to start with this tonight. Um, everybody wants to be a real estate investor. And so I want to tell you that the people who are coming through town, fortune builders, um, whoever they all are, I can't think of the name, it's, um, can't think of that guy that's flipping Vegas show. But, um, yeah, by somebody. But all of all of them, and there's a dozen of them or two dozen of them. All of those. So here's what I'm asking you to do. There is a big difference between a real estate investor and real estate investing. This is not a subtle difference. If you really want to become wealthy in real estate. There are lots of people who are into real estate investing. All of those people who are coming through with, the, with the, uh, their shows and education and talking to you about, got to do this, got to do that. We're going to show you how to do this. We're going to show you how to do that. They're showing you real estate investing. Knox Rita is about showing you how to become a real estate investor. Are we all together? Am I born anybody yet? So, um, typical things that you'll hear, what do you want to be? You know, what do you want to be as a real estate investor? They want you to think about your big why. Which do you want to do? Do you want to be a real estate investor or do you want to be in real estate investing? And does anybody know the difference that wasn't here at last month's meeting? Anybody? Tell us the difference. I will in a minute. <laughs> oh God, that's so good somebody actually asked that question. <laughs> when do you want to do it? Where is the best place to do it? How will you do it? And where, why are you here? Right? So everybody is curious. There's a certain curiosity. I want to learn about real estate. I want to learn about this. I, want to, I think I want to do this. I think I want to do this. I think I want to be that. What I want people to learn to do is understand market information. Because an investor monetizes information and real estate investing you're going to improve the efficiency of a process. Now, does everybody understand what that what those are? So, an investor hears, recognizes, or looks at something, never touches it, and understands how to make money with that information. They may decide to put something under contract and sell that information to somebody else. Right? Real estate investing is what so many people want to talk about, where it's, um, we're going to show you how to um, do mailers, we're going to show you how to market better, we're going to show you how to improve this process, we're going to show you how to come up with your right numbers, we're going to show you how to run comps, we're going to show you how to do these things. But all you're doing, if you just step back from it for a second, is looking at a process that everybody does, and you're trying to figure out how you're going to do that process more efficiently than someone else. And your profit comes from your ability to be more efficient than other people. Is everybody following this logic? If you're not, hold up your hand. So, sometimes I get lost in the Sorry, I had to glaze over. The reason that this gets to be important is that you'll hear people talk about, I want to be a wholesaler. What does being a wholesaler mean? Wholesaler somebody, first of all, that's the wrong term. You're not wholesaling anything. You're putting a piece of property under contract and you're assigning the contract. You have, um, there's all kinds of conversations about whether you can have the right to put something under contract if you don't have the ability to buy it. That's another whole long conversation. But for our purposes, being a, um, being someone who is wanting to not invest any money or time in a piece of property to simply put it under contract, they have no ability to make money on that contract if they're not monetizing some previous amount of information. The typical term that we hear all the time is after repaired value. After repaired value is a meaningless term. Because we'll hear later, if you've read over the little handout sheet that I gave you, you know, everybody I think is going to have a different idea of how they're going to finish a house and therefore everybody in this room's idea of an after repair value 
will be different than mine.